Welcome back, everyone, to the exciting and dynamic world of Emacs. So this is a an instance I came across recently in the writing process, which uh, I wanted to demonstrate because to seasoned Emacs users, it might be obvious, but to, to new people, it um, could pose an interesting challenge. So one of the goals of writing with Emacs and uh, text editors like Vim and, and similar text editors is the speed at which you can move around your document so you can limit a lot of unnecessary mouse movement and um, like spanking your arrow keys repeatedly in different directions. So let's look at this instance in which I wanna replace this word, this word while. So maybe I wanna say though my hands were cold, my heart was warm, instead of while my hands were cold, my heart was warm. Um, either way, it doesn't matter. This is just some gibberish I wrote. So, you know, let's let's not get take this too seriously. But you have a few options. So in this instance, you're still on this sentence in a way. Like this is the last sentence you wrote. So you can do meta A to jump to the beginning of the sentence. Meta D will kill the word, and then you could put in though. All right, so yeah, not bad. Now let's let's change the situation a little bit. Let's say there's another sentence. So my basket was full of popcorn. So now you're two sentences away. So you could spang meta A twice and go to that sentence. And then meta E brings you back into the end of the sentence. Uh, so that's not bad. One, two, and then kill and replace. But uh, there's something else you could do. Like imagine you were buried down even further. You know, buried down even further. The, it gets to a point where you're not going to keep going by sentence. Even though you still could, it's not that bad. What you could do is a reverse search. So in default Emacs, that's nested on control R. Um, incremental search backward is, I guess, the technical name of the function. So then I can start typing while, and you see it's it's not case sensitive. So now it has brought me to the word and highlighted it, and I can do meta D to kill the word and put in though. So there you go. I don't think um, I don't think that's too bad. I think that's pretty good. Um, I will often use the the incremental search forward and backward because it can get me down through the document faster. Let's say there's a word all the way down here and I'm writing up here. I could do an incremental search forward and basically warp to that word and start editing it there. Um, there are even some functions that will save your place like where you were, uh, but that's you know not gonna be uh, covered in this video. But that's about it. Uh, let me know your thoughts and uh, you know, is this something that, that you use? So yeah, so this is helpful for me and I uh, hope you got something out of it as well. Thanks for watching. Be sure to leave me any comments or questions you may have and I'll see you all next time.